welcome to another episode of the Texan Camper. We're out today in the Lone Star Hiking Trail, Sam Houston National Forest, exploring a new trail today. This trail is probably going to be about three miles in, of course three miles out. So, thanks for coming along, doing a little recon out here for Joey and I, my brother. Of course, maybe do some overnight camping again. But this is episode three of the uh, Lone Star Hiking Trail, part of the wilderness. Uh, Creek Loop, known as Little Lake Creek Loop, Caney Creek Loop. So, yeah, let's get out there. Let's find something fun. Too bad so far it's a very narrow trail you can see behind me there so the trail narrows in and it comes back around here kind of goes inside of here narrow like it's a pretty narrow track uh, path but it's got these blazers here which indicate that you're on the right trail and that you have um, you're going to be veering to the right so when you see blazers like this pointing in that direction that means the trail is going to veer to the right which as you walk around you see it veers to the right so just a little tutorial of how that works but anyways it's back to the journey out here I have to point out something <laughs> as you're walking out here alone in this thicket of woods your senses become a little bit heightened smell hearing so every little rustle that I hear I stop and kind of look around you know I don't know what it is about the woods but your senses are very well heightened there's been a couple people out here on this trail today it's on a Sunday it's a very nice day. It's about 60 degrees with a nice wind blow. These canopies give you good coverage from the sun and uh, the trail's not too boggled down with water. It's still muddy. But it's trekkable. Not too bad. Um, but yeah, you know, when you're walking out here, every little sound you want to kind of stop and look and see what it is. Half the time it's just freaking birds bouncing through the woods. There ain't nothing out here. But that doesn't mean you shouldn't be on guard just in case because they do have wild pigs out here in the Sam Houston National Forest. And if they're cornered, surprised or whatnot, they can be aggressive. So, But they'll most likely hear you before you hear them or see them. So anyways, there I go again. So there's your update. So far the trail's nice. All right, guys, catch you in a bit. All right, guys, so I've come about... Oh, I don't know, two miles in, and the trail kind of opened up back there, so there's kind of like a service road that kind of cuts through here, so I'm just going to go explore down here, and it uh, looks like a little back access road, I guess, where loggers come in here, or, uh, the forest rangers come in here, service crews, to, I guess, to come in and clear out, so it's pretty wide open here, the sun's coming out, starting to warm up a little bit more. May have to shed a layer here. I've got this sweatshirt on, but as you come down in here, you can see it kind of opens up back in here. I don't know if this could be maybe a camping spot, Joey. Joey, of course, if you're watching this, this could be ideal. 
This could be a new spot right here. I can try out my new saw. Wow, it's very wide open back here. We could do something really cool back in here. Yeah, I like this. Kind of come off trail here. Plenty of wood debris. Look at all this pine. Very wide open back in here. You can see the trail kind of cuts down over here. Like I said, I'm about two miles in. There's a little cross junction point where the trails cross. And it kind of comes up in here. There's nobody back here right now. I don't know what this is back here, but look at this. This would be great. Just a camp back in here. I think somebody's already been back here. Now, I don't know where the hell I'm going, but it's too cool not to come explore back here. All right, if I come across anything interesting, I will let you know. So, let's see, we started here and we've walked about two miles in, roughly. And you can see there's a little crossroad right here. I'll show you that back at work, but it gives you an idea of where I'm at. So, that's about it. Testing out my new backpack. It's really nice. It's the uh, Teton Summit 1500. There's thorns everywhere out here. I'm getting poked to death. You know, the Summit 1500 by Teton. It's a very lightweight day pack. And uh, I like it a lot. So my wife got this for me for an early Valentine's Day gift to add to my purse collection. I mean, excuse me, my backpack collection. And uh, I like it so far. But I'm going to shed some layers because I'm really hot now. So. If anything else comes up, folks, I'll bring you back. All right. All right. Take a little break here. Eat my sweet roll. Something new I got. I'm wondering, what is that, Texan camper? This is my new saw. Yeah, believe it or not, this is a saw. I think it's a buck saw is what they call it. Opens up and everything. But, uh, so yeah. Let me show you what it looks like when it's all open. So yeah, there it is. It's like a, I think they call it a buck saw. You can see that. Yeah, so it unfolds and looks like that. So you start. Mm -hmm. I think it's pretty cool. I think that's probably about six inches. This is by TechSport. And uh, I paid 20 bucks for it at the uh, Bass Pro Shop. So I'm going to try it out here, see how well it cuts, give you guys a status review of what I think of it. But it's pretty flimsy. I don't know how strong it is, but it's compact and portable. And uh, you see it's got serrated edges there you can see that there and uh, these just tighten up creates tension on the blade so let's go try it out and see what she does all right so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and cut this section here this looks about maybe three inches thick and see how this saw does so let's give it a whirl
Yeah, you can see it clean through there very beautifully. Very nice. 20 bucks, look at that. And you saw how small it got? Yeah. It's definitely a must. Like I said, I got this at the Bass Pro Shop. And it's called the... So I can get that to focus for you. Tech Sport. A little compact buck saw. Just get yourself one. Just cut right through this fallen pine tree here. Very nice. Let me do one more little section here. Just for good measure here. Oh yeah. See it cut right through there beautifully. I don't know how. Super hard. Not really hard. It's more of a softwood. It's pine. But yeah, make yourself some firewood. That is nice. Glad I got that. All right, enough of that nonsense. Back to the trail. Getting deeper and deeper in the woods here. It's supposed to be a road up here. I don't know. One guy said you had to a creek on a giant log. I was hoping to document that for you, but I'm still just kind of pushing through the trail. Not much really to see. It's so dense out here, you really can't see anything other than what's in front of you. I don't know if the camera's picking up the trail. It kind of neanders through here, really narrow, like it's only about like five feet wide at best. But I'm looking for a crossing, he said, that was, you had a traverse over a log something like that. I haven't found it yet. I'm about ready to kind of turn around. I'm already about four miles in and that means I got to go four miles back. So I don't know. I might turn around here in a minute because I'm just, it's kind of boring but beautiful. Just you know, no one to talk to except you guys. <laughs> Anyways, Joey. So, I'm probably going to wrap this video up. You know, little log. I've been climbing over these all day. Oh. oh, this is a pretty remote part of the trail. I don't think they get back here much to clear it out, but so Well, if anything comes up, I'll check back in with you. Stay tuned guys. Music's too boring. Let's pick up the pace. Enjoy.
This marks up about the end of the trip. My battery's about to die. Yeah, I guess I gotta get some new batteries. It didn't last very long, but hopefully you enjoy what I got. Got a chance to see some of the outdoors here in the Texas area. And if you're ever in this area, you gotta get out to the Sam Houston National Forest called the Lone Star Hiking Trails. So, thanks for joining, folks. Till we meet again.